Uh, welcome back everyone to question number 18 of the certified Jenkins engineer series. So what is question number 18? You need to perform a basic testing of your application functionality before releasing it to your dedicated test teams for exhaustive testing. What is this kind of testing called? Uh, unit testing, smoke testing, pyramid based testing, integration testing and user acceptance testing. Now you might think what is a testing question coming up? Why is the testing question coming up uh, in uh, uh, Jenkins uh, certification exam? But actually there are quite a few questions on testing and some aspects of testing now if I come here and if I go to Cloudways University okay for a change and let me just uh, go to the question yes so if I come here in the Jenkins one second Jenkins fundamentals oh sorry why did I click this one I want to go to here okay Jenkins fundamentals now you will see resume as you can see I have done a few most of the part I think I have finished 71% of the exam now if I come here yes software testing so you will see there is a section on software testing in the actual guide also testing goals test activities automated testing types of testing as you can see smoke test validate basic function of the system also known as sanity checking it is mentioned here types of testing manual testing testing pyramid so basically testing is a part of the curriculum and I think what I understood uh, one second let me just check testing uh, yes see you can see it's part of the official current benefits of testing with Jenkins define unit test smoke test acceptance test automated verification functional test so this question is relevant as simple as that okay now let's see the question so see what you need to know is the different types of testing and what it is called and so first of all let me first very quickly answer this question because there is no knowledge and there is no logic as such. there's something that you need to know the answer is B smoke testing okay so this is the answer of this question now if I go back okay uh, to first of all this documentation then you will find what is smoke testing it is also known as a build verification testing is a type of software testing it's a non-exhaustive set of tests which aims to ensure that the most important functions work so this result of this testing is used to decide that the build is stable enough to proceed with further testing just do a very ba basic sanity test and then hand over to the other testing suites so for example this is basically your use case also so do a basic application functionality before releasing it to your dedicated test teams for exhaustive testing so this basic sanity test is smoke testing and if I come here you will see that the different types of testing are mentioned here very important so see one is unit test this is a testing a small piece of code mostly a function or a method or a command it runs blazingly fast and they're often written by the person who wrote the code then there is something called integration testing which validates the integration between multiple subsystems and includes external subsystems like a database then you have smoke testing it validates basic functionality of the system it is also known as sanity checking then there are types of testing functional tests non-regression test and accept test is very important it tests the full product from the perspective of the end user test case and the feelings okay it also might include manual testing so if you go to the testing pyramid you will see that the tests at the bottom like unit integration smoke they should run quickly inexpensively and they should be run more frequently they should ideally be automated and test the top of the pyramid some of them might even be manual then acceptance and this will take more time to run they are more expensive to run they should be run less frequently and only when the software which is below when the software has passed the below test so if something doesn't pass my unit test why should I do an acceptance testing on it only when all of my no automated tests are uh, automated and non expensive tests which will run blazingly fast or quickly only when they are passing successfully only then I should do the next level of testing okay so as you can see the testing portfolio should have more low level test than high level test when the low level test fail it seldom makes sense to run high level test before fixing the problems which are detected by the low level test when a higher level test fails consider that it detected a defect in the lower level test as well as the defect in the code so basically please read this part about software testing you can get I got a question on I think user acceptance testing okay or uh, or try to confuse you as to what kind of testing is more suitable for that particular use case but anyways 
this uh, this part of the question uh, topic is very important you need to know this testing part okay so thank you this was quick one but uh, important one uh, please uh, share your feedbacks in the comment section and uh, let me know thank you bye